friends, fellow Singaporeans, it's always difficult to follow after Colonel Ang, but I will try. <laughs> My name is Paul Aden Tambaya. I work at a large teaching hospital, but I speak here entirely in my personal capacity. I do not belong to any political party, but I come here to support the candidacy of Mr. Tan Ji Se for several reasons. First of all, Ji Se lived the Singapore dream. As you heard, he grew up one of several children of a Hainanese washerwoman in Waterloo Street. He studied hard, got into RI, won a scholarship to Oxford University, where he read PPE. He served with Dr. Albert Winsemius, the architect of Singapore's economic transformation. When I looked through the list of recent PSC scholars, I couldn't find any washerwomen's children. Social mobility in this country has taken a step backwards. MOE data shows that the proportion of children from one and three room flats going to university peaked in 1986 and has plateaued since then. GSA reminds us that the Singapore dream can still be a reality. <laughs> Secondly, GSA served at the highest levels of government. He was Prime Minister Go Chok Tong's principal private secretary, a very high level appointment. This year, he took the unprecedented step of running in the general election as an opposition candidate. He is thus uniquely positioned to be a unifying president at a time that we perceive the country is deeply divided. He is the only individual in this election who has stood shoulder to shoulder with both Go Chok Tong and Vincent Wijayasinghe. How can you be a unifying president when all you have known is different shades of white? We need somebody like Tan Ji Se, who has worked on both sides of the divide to bring healing and unity to our country. Thirdly, Ji Se is highly qualified to be president. This is not my call. It is the call of the Presidential Election Committee, three eminent people who decided that Ji Se was qualified under Section uh, G, 2G4. I don't know the details of Jisei's business career after he left the civil service, but I do know that he has not been in charge of a company that has lost billions of dollars of taxpayer money. <laughs> Fourthly, Jisei is a gracious individual. I've gotten to know him well in the last few weeks and months, and I know that he is not the kind of person who is going to interrupt somebody in the middle of a response. <laughs> or to try and control what people say and do. He respects all kinds of individuals, regardless of race, language, religion, or sexual orientation. <laughs> now you might say, all the four candidates are good people. All of them are qualified. Three of them come from humble backgrounds. So why vote for Tan Ji Se? Most importantly, Ji Se is an independent candidate. He has the moral courage to support the government when it does right and to question the government when they're going in the wrong direction. The president has a tremendous position of influence. Every note in our wallet bears the image of Yusuf Ishak, the president. He is the only individual elected by, by all citizens, whether they are from the east or west, north or south. Jise has been accused of advancing a political agenda. But he does not need to advance any agenda, as the people of Singapore has spoken during GE 2011. The government, to their credit, has listened to some extent. Dramatic changes occurred. MM and SM resigned. But soon after that, we found out that the MM and SM retained their staff, including their press secretary and their principal private secretaries. We're going to hear about the new minister's salaries. The primary care participation scheme involves GPs has seen a tenfold increase in the number of people eligible for subsidized health care. Now, if only the paperwork that prevents or limits 80% of GPs from signing up is simplified and the caps lifted, 
then we can see the beginnings of an integrated primary healthcare system for all Singaporeans. On the other hot button issues of transport and housing, there have been some small steps forward, but there have also been steps backward. The transport fares have gone up. People have, the government has listened to the people, but we want more. The PE 2011 is not the GE. It is not the chance to elect your MP who will run your town council, look after your estate, even if he is banned from attending community functions in your neighbourhood. The PE is the chance to elect someone who can work with the government to set the direction for the country. The spectre of gridlock has been raised if the president is too independent. But an even more dangerous spectre is groupthink. Many years ago, there was a sharp and public divide between the leaders who wanted to build the MRT, like the visionary Mr. Ong Teng Cheong and others, or others, like one of the candidates, who felt that it would be foolish to build the MRT at that time. This debate was healthy and good for Singapore. It was not like the groupthink that has led to the disastrous population policies that have strained our infrastructure and squeezed out ordinary Singaporeans. Having an independent president is good for Singapore as a check and a balance. This is particularly so in the constitutional areas of the reserves, the ISA, the CPIB and key public sector appointments. We now know that President Nathan authorised the spending of the reserves on land reclamation from 2001 and the cost of land acquisition for 27 SERS projects from 2002. While these might be worthwhile projects, I think most Singaporeans agree that investing in healthcare for Singaporeans, education for all children regardless of their ability, and ensuring good jobs for Singaporeans are equally worthwhile users of our reserves. Why am I speaking up for Tan Ji Se? Over the last few weeks and months, I have received feedback from many Singaporeans like you. The majority are healthcare workers, others are teachers, social workers, and a common theme comes true. We went into our professions because we care. We genuinely believe in helping people. We did not want to become part of some machinery that simply watches out for the bottom line. Singaporeans are looking for a leader with a heart. This man is here, Mr. Tan Ji Se, the heart of the nation. There is something very special we have as citizens of this country. As citizens, we may have only slight discounts in university fees. We may have to do national service while our non-citizen friends enjoy the safety and security that we provide. We may even have to agree not to cook our favorite Singaporean dishes if the scent offends our neighbors from other countries. But we have something unique, the right to vote. As someone who has not voted for nearly 20 years, I live in Tanjong Paga and lost the right to vote by 35 seconds during the GE. This is very special for me. If we are concerned about the direction our country is going, if we feel that we need a national leader who can unify the country, someone who can inspire the country, someone with a heart, I say, vote for Tan Ji Se. Many in my generation do not believe that we will ever see our CPF money. We put aside one third of our incomes every month, but with the increasing minimum sum and withdrawal age, we now know that few of us can depend on it for retirement security. We need an independent president who can protect our CPF. Vote wisely. Your vote is secret. During GE 2011, 762,000 Singaporeans voted for the alternative parties. Many of them were civil servants and even senior officials. Nothing has happened to them. Vote for an independent president. Vote for a man with a heart. The man who said, although there is a limit to what I can do as president, 
There is no limit to what I can do as a Singaporean for Singaporeans. I say, vote for Tanji Se. Thank you.